Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the lecture of the quantum mechanics uh, last time uh, in the previous lecture we have discussed the planck's radiation law uh, in which uh, he uh, argued that when we have a black bodies then the radiation interact in discrete mode means this light contains some patches some bundle of energy which are absorbed continuously in that bodies and these energy are utilized in uh, the exciting the these uh, resonators or these number of the particle which are continuously emitting radiation with that frequency of the incident light now in the rayleigh jeans law rayleigh argued that these in radiation consist of the continuous energy and these energies are uh, and these energies uh, are absorbed are emitted in the continuous mode rather than discrete mode so both scientists adopted uh, the same method but actually the difference was how they get the average energy of that oscillator if uh, we use the rayleigh jeans ideas then this this equation says this is in his attempt in 1900 rayleigh focused on understanding the nature of the electromagnetic radiation inside the cavity he considered the radiation to consist of the standing wave having a temperature t with node at the metallic surface he argued that these radiation which are emitted are purely depend upon temperature if we increase the temperature definitely we will have the radiation with the longer frequencies and if we reduce the temperature then we will have the radiation with the shorter uh, frequencies so means shorter frequency means ir and higher frequency means uv radiation it means if we go to um, if we increase the temperature of this black bodies then we will have the radiation with the longer frequency that correspond to uv light and for lower frequency we will have with the uh, ir radiation or radio waves and other uh, fre low frequency radiation so our this frequency dependence is purely upon temperature and how we can increase the temperature uh by falling lights on this uh, radiator we can increase their frequency so the basic question was how this radiation interact with this matter whether it is continuous or discrete but in rayleigh jeans he assumed that light is continuously emitting continuously absorbing so for the continuous emission absorber we have already expression for number of oscillator number of oscillator is equal to 8 pi mu square over c a cube and this is energy density energy per unit volume uh, from wavelength mu to delta mu from frequency mu to delta mu and this is the total number of oscillator and this is the average energy then uh, that uh, rayleigh jeans obtained uh, while considering this the continuous nature of the emission and absorption of radiation so we will try to uh, read derive this result and this is the equations energy density which is equal to number of oscillator multiplied by average energy so first we try to obtain the average energy using the continuous emission or continuous absorption ideas because uh, in the previous section we have used planck's ideas in which he assumed that light is emitted in discrete manner and we have used uh, summation in case of uh, in place of integral so in this case because we are using the continuous ideas uh, continuous emission or absorption ideas so we will use integral in place of summation so the average energy average of any function is function and uh, multiply by f of x if we have to find the average of f of x so what is this formula let's me write 0 to limits uh, f of x and d of x divided uh 0 to limits dx so this is the basic formula uh, to find the average of any function we are uh, seeking the average for kinetic uh, for the average energy so 0 to infinity exponential e my exponential e minus e over kt this is the boltzmann probabilistic factors that any particle have this energies uh, and delta e is the our actually Uh, the factor which is changing and zero to infinity exponential minus e over kt into delta e if we integrate this 
we will get, we will have this with k t. So in the next section we try to solve this integral and if we obtain this result we will put this result in in the place of e. So multiplying number of oscillator with this average energy we should have the result for the uh, Rayleigh Jeans law which is this one. So first uh, we try to evaluate this integral in the next section. Average of these uh, energies we can evaluate this integral first we have two uh, integral the um, top and the in denominator. Uh, first we uh, evaluate this integral exponential minus e over k t which is in the denominator. If we put uh, u is equal to e and then delta u will be equal to delta e. Using the previous result delta v is equal to exponential minus and uh, v is equal to minus k t exponential minus e over k t then we can evaluate this integral uh, by using uh, uv formulas. Just if we evaluate this thing, then the, this uh, this in, this integral you can evaluate exponential minus e over k t. If we put this exponent factor e over k t is equal to y, and then we will have exponential e power y into delta y, and integral of e y is equal to just e y. And if we put the limits of integration, we will get with k t. So answer for the denominator is k t. So if we solve for the upper of part of this in, uh, fraction so we will we can integrate this because this upper part contain two integral we will definitely have to use the uv formula for this so this will be u and this uh, will be uh, v so uv minus v du so uv formula is uv uh, uv minus v du uv minus v du so this first factor will be u and the second will be du which is which will be equal to delta e and delta v will be equal to exponential minus e over kt if we use integration by parts then this will comes out to be uh, like uh, kt square and this factor if we put the upper and lower limits this integration can be solved very easily so we have this limits if we put the upper and lower limit this factor will go to zero and the second factor we get k t square so we put uh, this result in the backward fractions in this back fraction we will get exponential minus e over k t is equal to k t square and this uh, denominator we have k t which we have already evaluated so if we put back these values in this fraction we will get average of energy will be equal to k t square over k t so this can simplify with k t and we will get the average of energy which is equal to k t now what we have to do we have to put this average energy in the expression for the average uh, energy density formulas which is this one so if, if we put uh, values of average energy in this expression we will have the result 8 by mu square over c cube and k t so this is actually the Rayleigh uh, Jeans law but uh, if we put mu is equal to infinity so this expression will go this will blows up this will goes to infinity because if we put for higher frequency check for higher frequency mu tend to infinity so this average energy density will go to infinity and we will uh, if we uh, sub again substitute this expression into this so this will get give us the average uh, intensity of that black bodies equal to infinity which is not possible physically so this expression does not work for higher frequency for higher frequency correspond to uv radiation and this break cage of this law at higher frequency is known as ultraviolet catastrophe so this law fails badly at higher frequency but it works for lower frequency this is the expression for the uh, Rayleigh Jeans law that we have obtained only the energy uh, average energy finding method is difference in the Planck's method and Rayleigh Jeans method so in this case we assume that light is emitted or absorbed in the continuous manner and the for continuous uh, manner we use 
integration in place of summation. So, this was the our result we want to uh, obtain. I will stop at this point and in the next lecture I will try to explain the uh, Wien's law uh, in which we have also assumed that the light is emitted in continuous mode.